happy Earth Day to you. I'm just curious how many of you here are from Earth? A lot of people, a lot of you. Welcome, a lot of you. More than yesterday's audience. I'm a big fan of the Earth. The Earth and I have a lot in common. We're made mostly of water, and every year we both get hotter. So, yeah. Um, Earth Day happens every spring, and today I want to talk about something else that happens when the weather gets warmer. Birds do it, bees do it, you and I do it. Of course, I'm talking about accidentally running into a plate glass window. <laughs> My eye! I'm talking about mating, of course, and uh, one of the animals that mates every spring is the panda. And there was a story recently, about, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, two pandas in China who set the record for the longest panda mating session. Here's a photo of, <laughs> I'm assuming the male, he's smiling. <laughs> the male panda, Lulu, and his partner, Shimei, mated for 18 minutes and three seconds. So to the two pandas, congratulations. <laughs> and to whoever is in charge of timing them, gross. <laughs> really. Usually pandas only mate for less than a minute, which is nothing to be ashamed of, male pandas. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Enough about panda sex, though. Let's talk about some other animals that are getting it on, and I'll give you kids a second uh, at home to get a notebook and a pen. Um, <laughs> this is this spotted sandpiper right here. And these birds are different than most animals because when they mate, the female pursues the male. Now, the female sandpiper, they compete with each other, and that can lead to intense fights between like five and six females all trying to win the, over the, the one male. And when it happens in nature, it's called polyandry. And when it happens on television, it's called The Bachelor. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's move on. Here's the next one. Oh, that's Channing Tatum. <laughs> I don't know why he's in there. <laughs> we all know how he mates beautifully. <laughs> all right, let's look at the last one. This is uh, an insect, and it's called the water boatman. The male water boatman has a special talent that he uses when he wants to mate. Uh, like the sandpiper, he sings, but not with his mouth, and not with his hands, and not with his feet. <laughs> We've come this far. I'm just going to say it. He has a singing penis. <laughs> Here's how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but I'm sure we're all trying to imagine it right now. The female water boatman picks her mate based on whatever male water boatman sings the best song. It's like they say, it's not the size of the boatman, it's the song of the penis. <laughs> what have we learned? I don't know, but let's try to forget it with this dance. 